It's not uncommon for there to be water on the floor in the laundry, and that's a serious trip hazard. So I'm going to show you how to make a wooden floor mat to prevent accidents. All it's going to take is a bit of preparation and attention to detail, and it'll all come together. And best of all, you can make it using simple tools, inexpensive timber, and you can be as creative as you like. These are the tools and equipment required to make a stylish wooden floor mat. It can be any size. It can be long or short, fat or thin. The great thing is the wood can be cut to size at Bunnings. Before drilling any holes in the timber, it's essential to lay out the timber so that you can establish the design. You can be as creative as you like with this mat and use any design that suits. Once the design's established, mark where you want the threaded rod to go. It's essential to choose a spot where the wood overlaps. Drill holes where you've marked on the timber so that your rod slips straight through. It's a great idea to measure the center of the timber so the rod goes through and the mat stays flush. Use a spade bit to drill the holes through the wood. To hide the nut on the end of the threaded rod, I'm going to use a larger spade bit and drill halfway down and then complete the hole with the smaller spade bit. Once all the holes are drilled, realign the timber to the pattern you started with so that you can thread the rods through. Next, put the nuts on the end of the threaded rod, keeping them flush. Now pull the rods through to tighten up the mat. Use a grinder to cut off the excess rod. Before tightening up the mat with the remaining six bolts, I've decided to jazz it up and paint it. So I'm going to disassemble it. Don't forget, you want to keep the pattern. So leave the blocks in place while you remove the rods. Once the paint's dried, reassemble the floor mat and tighten up the nuts. There we have it, a stylish wooden floor mat. It makes a perfect platform to have in front of your seat. Hi,